It is unboxing time. Today I'm bringing you guys another new soft plastic from Six Sense Fishing that just hit the market and a bunch of other baits as well. Let's get into it. <laughs> Hello and welcome. What's up everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. Today we're going to be doing another unboxing of some new soft plastic from Six Sense Fishing and there are some other additional baits in the packages to take a look at as well. Do you know how this works? We're going to crack open the boxes and we're going to take an up close and personal look at the new soft plastics and everything else that I got from Six Sense here in this video. This is your first time watching or if you haven't already done so please consider subscribing to the channel we are well on our way to 21,000, and i would love to have you guys riding along with what we got going on over here i put out new fishing videos all the time unboxings bait videos fishing videos and now we have the tackle wall tuesday videos dropping speaking of tackle wall tuesday if you haven't seen yesterday's episode go check that out we had a lot of fun checking out everybody's tackle collections and a lot of people seem to really enjoy it. So when you're finished with this video, go check out the new series that we just started up. It's been a blast and judging from the feedback that you guys have been providing in the comment section, you all seem to enjoy it just as much as I do. So thank you guys for all the support on the Tackle Wall Tuesday episodes. I'll be back next week with a new episode for you, episode three. Also, I'm gonna take a moment really quickly here to say that if you're interested in any of the baits that I'm about to show you, check out Six Sense Fishing, sixcentsfishing.com. Use my code JR10 at checkout. That's going to give you 10% off everything on the website. That's an excellent way to save yourself some money on some of the best baits in the game and support the channel at the same time. Using that JR10 code helps us keep the lights on and the cameras rolling over here so that we can continue to bring you free fishing content here on YouTube. I greatly appreciate anyone who places an order and uses my JR10 code. JR10 for the win. Thank you guys so much. If you do use the code, shoot me a screenshot of your confirmation over on Instagram and I'll give you a shout out on my story. Everyone who uses my code gets a shout out on IG. It's just a way for me to say thank you and give you all some public recognition for supporting the channel. But I think that's about all the formalities we have to get through. We can go ahead and start cutting into the boxes now. I'm really looking forward to this. I've had these packages here for a few days and I've really wanted to open them, but I know how you guys enjoy the unboxing content. So I fought the temptation, held out, and I waited to open them with you guys on camera right now. Let's get into it. So as you can see, we got two boxes. This bottom box here is from the man behind the curtain, the Wizard of Oz, Mr. Zach Kennard over at Six Sense Fishing. Everybody knows Casey, everybody knows his name, everybody talks about him all the time. But another person I feel like we really need to show some appreciation to for all that they do over there at the Six is my man Zach. And nothing goes down without Zach being involved. Like I said, he's the man behind the curtain. Zach oversees all of the Six Sense Pro staff as well as the fulfillment team. He works really hard to make sure that all of you out there get your orders, and he has a lot to do with everything that goes on behind the scenes at the six so big shout outs to zach thank you for the package brother this package here on top i actually just placed an order myself we're gonna crack into both of these boxes once again thanks to zach and the whole team over there at the six i'm really looking forward to seeing these baits my only conundrum here is which one should we open first i don't know maybe we'll open the top box i'll go ahead and show you guys the new baits and then we'll crack open the larger package and see what zach sent us Does that sound like a plan all right that sounds good to me. I won't make you guys wait to see the new soft plastics, which I know this box right here is loaded with. This one right here might have some surprises in it. I'm not sure, but we'll set this off to the side. We'll go ahead and start with the box that I ordered myself. I'm really excited. This will be my first look at this new bait. It just dropped. I think you know what it is. Go down in the comments, place your guess now. Don't cheat, or you can cheat, it's whatever. Let's see what we got. Once again, packed up. Actually, it looks like it came loose, but it was packed up. Six cent soft pouch. Boom. Boom. Here it is, man. This is gonna be my first time looking at this bait. All right. I present to you the brand new Hogwalla 5.8 from Six Sense Fishing. Check this out, man. This is the watermelon candy color. This bait, if I can get it out, is like a creature slash lizard style 
hybrid bait. As you can see, it has lizard legs on there, has a uniquely ribbed body. It's got that six sense diamond pattern all along the body, that's cool. And then it has these two long tentacles down here on the back. So it's kind of a mix of a lizard and a creature. Hope you guys can see that. That's the watermelon candy color. And I am extremely excited to throw this. Plastic is super soft. This thing has a lot of action. It's dangling and jangling. This is my first time getting a look at it. One thing I wanna mention about these, new soft plastics proudly made in the United States of America. These plastics were poured in the USA. So you know you're getting a top tier product. And that hog walla right there in the watermelon candy is an excellent way to kick off the video now. I ordered a package of these in practically every color that they offer. This one right here I'm gonna set off to the side because it's just super heat. We're gonna go through and look at these colors right now though. Green pumpkin, the green pumpkin hog walla. Let's crack it open. You know how I like to do it. Up close and personal. Dude, yes, that's gonna be a clear water killer. Really natural, just awesome. Look at that thing. Look at those tentacles, man. That green pumpkin, big pop of green pump. Stoked on that. Hogwalla heaters, dropping just in time for the holidays. Next up, green pumpkin blue. Ooh, they got that same licorice scent it smells like. It smells like black licorice, man. Green pumpkin blue. Just green pumpkin with a little blue flake. Self-explanatory. Dude, I cannot wait to get out there and throw this. I'm gonna be out on the water throwing all the new soft plastics soon. I'm gonna take a dedicated trip. I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna throw the flush. I'm gonna throw the whale and I'm gonna throw the hog walla all on the same trip. If you guys didn't see the video where we recently unboxed all the new flushes and new whales, go check that out. That video is here on the channel for you guys. This next color in the hog walla, Cali Magic Red. This is a little six cents take on that California 420 color. Yeah, that looks great. Check that out. Watermelon seed, red, black, and silver flake. Cali Magic Red, hog walla. Nice. Let's keep moving. Next up. Bluegill Magic. Dang, that is, that's awesome. All right, this is a black and blue back with watermelon red belly. And one thing I'm noticing while I'm holding these hog wallas is just the action, how soft the plastic is. I know these things are gonna look crazy in the water. Awesome. You could rig this a multitude of ways. You could Texas rig this, which is probably what I'll do starting out. You could throw this on a wobble head. You could throw it on a shaky head. You could even get crazy, hook it up with some heavy weight and pitch and flip with it. This new hog walla is looking like some money. Got a whole other sack here. Now we're gonna start getting into some more of the vibrant colors. This one right here is the bluegill spawn. Love this color. You guys have seen it before in the prawn or the stroker craw. Check that thing out. This is a little lighter take on it. It's more like a plum or a, what would you call that? I don't know, just like a light, light brown, light tan. It's a little lighter than plum, honestly, but either way, this is that bluegill spawn. Got that light base with the red, purple, and black flake. Awesome. It's like a light plum, almost a peach. There we go. It's like a peach. Peach. It took me a minute to think of the color there, but it's like a light peach. Awesome. That's the bluegill spawn color. All right, next up, this is another color that I'm super excited about. They busted it off in the flush and now they're making it in the hog walla. This is that baby crappie. Check this out. It's like a shad, minnow type color, silver flake, green flake, black flake, the hog walla. Another thing you could use these for, if you wanted to throw a large profile jig, you could use that as a jig trailer, or you could get crazy. Use it as a chatterbait trailer. Let me back there zinging and flinging. But wait, there's more. Next up, Old Reliable Watermelon Red. Watermelon seed with red flake. That's that watermelon red. Awesome. Killer color. All right, I'm going to get it moving now. Let's go ahead and rip through the rest of these. These last few are some really exciting looking colors. This is that Fruitcake Vomit, AKA green pumpkin juice. Check that out. That's the holiday heater right there. looks like a fruit cake or looks like somebody chewed up a fruit cake and spit it back out all over this, this bait. That's green pumpkin, green flake, purple flake, gold flake, black flake. A lot going on there. That is another awesome natural yet vibrant color in the hog walla. We took our first look at that color when we did the whale unboxing. Really interesting. This next one right here, Another color I'm extremely excited about. This is the Watermelon Gill, and this color just looks awesome. This is gonna be one of the confidence colors for me. I can tell that uh, this will be one of the first ones I try throwing, just because I feel like for clear water, that's just gonna be a deadly 
deadly weapon. As you can see, it has a little bit of that light blue, almost lavender accent, light watermelon seed with the blue flake singing and blinging inside of there. Hope you guys can see that, that right there. Whew. Superheater, watermelon gill, hogwalla. Got a couple more colors here to look at and then we'll get off into the bigger box. This one right here is the watermelon red sunfish. Similar to that last color, but just a little bit more bling, a little more singing and blinging going on in this one. Got some silver flake, some blue, red, and black flake on that watermelon seed and light watermelon seed base. Look at that, yep, that's another awesome, natural yet vibrant color. This next one right here, bold. I'm really excited about this color. Now, I fish a lot of clear water. You guys know that, I talk about it all the time. And a lot of times the green pumpkins, the natural stuff is what I will gravitate towards. But let me tell you guys a little something. One thing that's sort of counterintuitive that you might not know is that the red, dark red, the, the red bug, the June bug type red colors sometimes can really stand out and do really well in clear water. And that's why I'm super excited about this one right here, the plum bug. Check this out. It's like a plum June bug color. It's got that light pink plum base with the blue and the green and the black flake singing and blinging. And that is just an awesome bait. I'm just, yeah, yeah. I will definitely be throwing that. Even in my clear water where those fish will be able to get a really good look at it. I guarantee you they've never seen anything like that before. They were like, what is that? A leech? A lizard? What is it? A creature? A crawdad? They don't know. They're gonna eat it. That is just a killer color and I cannot wait to give her a whirl. I'll give her a whirl. That's that plum bug hog walla. And that is a look at all of the new soft plastic hog wallas from Six Sense Fishing. There might be some more over there in that box. I'm not sure but I'm stoked on this new creature bait slash lizard style bait. That's a stack of hog wallas right there. One thing I love about Six Sense Fishing is that they are constantly innovating, constantly working on new bait. Hey, hear that bird chirping? trying to ruin my audio. It's always something, man. They're constantly innovating, constantly working on things behind the scenes to get new baits to the market, to fill any gaps in their lineup. And this right here is an excellent option. They got the prawn, they got the stroker craw, they got the Devon shaky worm, they got the Ned Fry, they got the flush, they got the whale, and now they have the hog walla. Constantly releasing new stuff, new baits to add versatility to your tackle arsenal. And I'm stoked to have these with me now out there on the boat hopefully catching us a monstro. Excited to throw the hog wallas, man. I'm gonna put them down here. <sighs> Looks like I'm gonna have to expand the tackle wall. If you guys wanna see the tackle wall expansion, subscribe to the channel, stay tuned. That's gonna be coming really soon right here. And I'm even gonna rate and roast my own tackle wall in an episode of Tackle Wall Tuesday. Stay ready. I know you guys wanna see it. I bet you the score that I give myself might surprise you. But let's go ahead and get off into this second box right here. This one's loaded and I'm gonna say it one more time. Thank you, Zach, over at The Six for hooking me up with this pack of holiday heaters. Much appreciated, brother. If you happen to be watching this video, I can't thank you enough for all that you do for me, brother. Thank you so much. Cheers to you with the Zevia. All right, what's in the box? Let's cut into it. All right, here we go. You ready? What do we got? Oh, we got sacks. We got stacks of sacks on deck. There's some baits. First thing I noticed in the box, some more whales. Got some pearl whites, some ghost ice minnow, and some gill dust. Awesome, sweet dude. These are the new large profile, four and a half inch soft plastic paddle tail swim baits from Six Sense Fishing, the whale 4.5. Stoked, I'm gonna rig these up with a five aught flashy swimmer owner hook. Go out there and stick me a pig. Can't wait to slow roll these things around deep and dry out that big bite. Awesome. Next up, this is a new color that they recently dropped in the Devon Shaky Worm. This is the Blood Apple. Seven inch Devon Shaky Worm, Blood Apple. Really similar to that hog walla color we just looked at. This, yes. There's a bait from Zoom. It's called uh, Red Bug, and I've done really well with that color out here. This right here is kind of similar. That plum base, green, blue, black flake, seven inch Devon Shaky Worm. Throw that on a shaky head or a Texas rig, boom. I love throwing a large profile straight tail worm. It's one of my confidence baits. And that new blood apple right there, shoo, smoke show. Awesome, stoked to add that to the Devon Shaky Worm lineup. What else we got? We got a couple pouches here. See what's in this one. I think I know. I'm gonna let you guys see it first. Got 
some more flushes. I already know I'm going to be keeping the stock high on these flushes. You guys know I love fishing a soft plastic jerk bait. This is the Shad Pearl Flush 5.2. Awesome. If you guys want to get a detailed and up close look at the Flush 5.2, go check out the previous unboxing video where we opened up and looked at every single one of the new colors up close and personal right here on camera. We had two cameras running in that video, multiple angles, and we got a really, really detailed look at all of the new flush colors. That right there is that baby crappie. Stoked on that one. Watermelon candy magic. Stoked to have another pack of those right there. Let's keep rolling. A lot of awesome stuff in this unboxing video, man. You guys go down below, click that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment, let me know what your favorite color of the hog walla was. And once again, if you're interested in scoring any of these baits for yourself, sixcentsfishing.com, JR10 for the win. Shoo, shoo, I see another pack of whales. Ooh, I like this color. This is that platinum white. Platinum white, white base with uh, silver and gold flake with just a little bit of black pepper sprinkled in. Awesome color. Here's another one. Some more gill dust. The gill dust whale. Let's go ahead and crack this one open, why not? We'll take a look at it. We didn't look at this color up close and personal when we did the original whale unboxing, so I'll go ahead and take one of these out. Let you guys take a look at the whale and the gill dust right here, right now. Look at that thing. It's like that, uh, that dark brown, almost green pumpkin base with the purple, orange, and black flake. Check out the head on that whale. I love the side fins. It's gonna give it a lot of stability. Big paddle tail on there. I haven't had a chance to fish this bait yet, but I will be soon. And from what I hear, this thing has some awesome head shake and body roll, nice hunting action. Can't wait to get out there and put it to work. And that's the Whale 4.5 in gill dust color. Sweet. Let's see what else we got. Another pack of whales. This is that holiday fruit cake. The green pumpkin juice. We did take an up close and personal look at this. We nicknamed it the fruit cake because it sort of reminds me of a fruit cake. The fruit cake puke, AKA green pumpkin juice. That's a gnarly color right there, man. Yeah, got a lot going on in that one. Confetti bomb. All right, let's keep rolling. What else do we got? A couple more soft plastics in here, it looks like. Shoot, we got some more hog wallas. We got the baby crappie. We got the green pumpkin juice. Oh wait, here's a new color right here. Black and blue. We didn't look at this one yet. Let's check it out. Awesome. For all you murky water guys out there, that black and blue flake. Sweet. Always gotta have some black and blue ready. But wait, there's more. Got some more baits over here in the box that I can see. It looks like Zach sent us out some hard baits as well. So let's take a look here. I'm gonna set them all on the table upside down so that I can't see what they are. Can only see the back of the boxes here. I'm gonna show you guys first. Let's start out right here with this one. There's that Quake 70 Log Perch. Awesome, dude, look at that color. The Log Perch Quake 70. This is one that I do not have. Log Perch Lipless Crankbait Action. Look at that, dude, that is awesome. It's got that light gold, almost yellow, but not really, really natural looking see-through body with the uh, dark brown vertical lines, dark brown accents around the eyes, gold top. As always, you got the laser sharp black nickel hooks and hardware, 3D gill plates, 3D molded in scales. High pitched vibrant rattles. And that's a killer. The Log Perch Quake 70. Awesome. Stoked on that. We are definitely going to need to expand the tackle wall. Stay ready. Ooh, I accidentally looked at it. I'm gonna show you guys the Tiger Craw Quake 70. Look at that thing. Right near the beach. Boy! Look at this color, dude. Dude! Wow, that is a heater. You got the aqua, you got the aqua Tiffany blue on the belly, you got the yellow, you got the red and orange, you got the green eyes, you got the black striping. That is a killer bait. That is a killer bait. Looks like a custom paint, but it's not. Available now, Six Sense Fishing, JR10 for the win. Some of the absolute best colors available anywhere in the fishing industry. Stoked on those. Looks like we got another Quake 70 here. This is another one of their awesome colors. This is that Phantom Craw, look at this thing. Dude, 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 such a killer color. I love the Phantom Craw. So creative and unique. Every color that they come out with, nobody does it like the six. Look at that thing, green eyes, got that turquoise belly fading into the dark gray with the silver lines. Dude, that is just a killer, killer bait. Look at that, awesome. Stoked to add that to the lineup. Quake 70, Phantom Craw, smoke show. All right, let's keep moving, boom. What do we have here? What do we have here? This right here, Provoke 106 Jerkbait, Merthiolate Flash is the color. I think I'm saying that right. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. This is a pretty, 
pretty gnarly color right here. It's like a grapefruit orange, but it's got a chrome look to it. Vibrant orange belly, black accents around the eyes. I recently caught my first fish ever on a hard jerk bait using the Provoke 106X, and I've been needing some more to try to fill out that hard jerk bait lineup. I don't have many of these. That right there is gonna be an awesome color option for when you really wanna trigger those fish that maybe they don't wanna eat, they're down there, and nothing's getting their attention. Natural colors aren't working. Throw something like that at them that they may not have ever seen before. Sometimes that can really be the deal to triggering those reaction strikes. So stoked to have that in the arsenal. Next up, here's another Provoke 106. We're going the other way with a natural look. Ghost Threadfin Shad is the color, but you already know I'm gonna crack it out and show you up close and personal in detail. That's how we do it over here on these unboxing videos. If you're enjoying the unboxing, hit that like button. This one would be a confidence color for out here on my clear water. Maybe subtle on the camera, but you have like a white diamond pattern printed on the sides there, as well as that gold lateral line, black dot, dark bronze, gill plates. You got that dark silver pattern on top, gold accent on the tail, awesome. Let's check out the rattles in these. Yeah. Yeah, you're making some noise down there. Herking and jerking with this thing. Awesome. Provoke 106 jerk bait. Deadly. I know some hammers that really destroy with this bait, and I'm trying to dial in my jerk bait game this winter. Not a confidence bait of mine, if I'm being honest, but caught my first few fish on it here in a recent video. If you guys haven't seen that, go check it out when you're done here. Starting to build that confidence. I'm trying to get better at fishing the hard jerk bait. Now, we got a couple more hard baits. This is one of my favorite baits that Sixth Sense has ever created. This bait right here is so much fun to fish and it is the bait that I credit for making me fall in absolute love with wake bait fishing, the speed wake. Check this out. You guys probably know this color already. Shout outs to Baxter the bait man, my brother from another. That's the Jane Juice, this is his custom color. This is a 5 8 ounce wake bait that you can absolutely burn. Turn and burn. The action on this thing is indisputable. Cannot blow this thing out. It just kicks all the way back to the boat. I mean, you can really just turbocharge this thing and it just runs true the whole time. Such an awesome bait. Got that lip on there, the Jank Juice that light, almost faded highlighter chartreuse color with the white belly, lavender back, red eyes, killer. Baxter killed it on the Jane Juice, love that color. Got to do my first episode of Baitman Live recently with the Baitman, and that was a big moment for me. At the very beginning of my YouTube fishing video journey, I saw a video pop up into my recommended feed, and it was uh, Baxter the Baitman doing one of his live streams, and I hopped in there, and I could tell that he was really interactive with the crowd, and he was answering everybody's questions. So I threw him up a question, and I asked him, would you ever consider collaborating or working with any other fishing YouTubers? Kind of just seeing where his head was at. And he was like, oh yeah, definitely. He's like, I've done videos with, and then he dropped some big names, man. Like, I don't know. I can't really remember, but he, hey, what's up, brother? How are you doing, man? Thanks, dude. Yeah, you see what I'm doing. No, you're good, bro. You stop by any time, man. Man, I, lo I launch and load these boats more than most people ride in them, dude. It ain't nothing. I could be on that water in two minutes. Yeah, I'd, I'd be so, I'd be so paranoid leaving my boat in a slip, dude. Yeah, I gotta. Nah, I check on that thing 13 times a night. So what's been going on, man? You uh, did you have a good Thanksgiving? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen my, I haven't seen my family in almost a year, man. It's getting tough. Yeah, make sure nobody turns into an alien. I hope you're staying safe out there, man. And I hope you have a Merry Christmas too, dude. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, it's always good to see you, brother. Stay safe out there, man. All right, man, later. That's my brother from another. Shout outs to Jason Hall. He's a sheriff out here. Really good dude, really good fisherman. Uh, and he's become a good friend of mine. He just stopped by to say what's up. But anyways, as I was saying, Baxter the bait man dropping some big names, talking about how he had done some collaborative work with uh, some of the bigger names in the online fishing YouTube community. And I just thought, well, dang, man, that dude's uh, that dude's on another level. And I don't, I don't think he'll ever want to work with little old me. This, like I said, this was right when I first started making fishing videos. Fast forward to just a few weeks ago, I've been grinding really hard here on YouTube, growing my channel, getting my views up, and I've gotten noticed by some really awesome people within the community. And me and Baxter the Bait Man have actually become good friends. And he invited me on his show. That was a big moment for me. Uh, felt really good to want to be included in his live stream. Like I said, it was something that I've been watching since I started doing this and, and um, his knowledge of the bait game is 
unparalleled and I've always looked up to that dude and what he does. We each have our own style and his channel is very different from mine, but man, I will always ride with that dude. He showed me incredible support. Baxter, if you're watching, thank you so much, brother. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me on your stream and I cannot wait to do it again. I had so much fun doing that. If you guys haven't seen the Bateman TV live stream that I did with Baxter the Bateman, go check that out. It was a lot of fun. I think you guys will enjoy it. Go throw him a sub, help him grow his channel on his way to 20,000 as well. I'll take this moment to thank you guys for helping me hit 20,000 over here on this channel. I do appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch my videos. It means the absolute world to me. But I have one more bait to show you. It's another Speed Wake, and I'm loving this color. I did not have this one, but man, now that I see it in person, I'm stoked on it. This is the Live Mullet. Check this thing out. Let's crack it open, up close and personal. Detailed views in these unboxings. That's a perfect bait fish, shad, mullet, gizzard shad imitation right there. It's just a really natural shad style pattern on there. Got the green pumpkin on the top. It's like a gray green, the fin accents on the side. Looks like a big shad to me or a shiner. 3D realistic eyes molded in gill plates. Yeah, that's a killer. I will definitely be throwing this speed wake. Looking forward to it. Stoked to add all these awesome colors and all these awesome baits to my collection. One more time, shout outs to my man Zach over at the Six for sending me out this care package. That's gonna go ahead and round out this unboxing. If you guys are looking to score any of these baits, you know the deal, JR10 for the win. Send me those screenshots so I can hook you guys up with a shout out over there on Instagram, at the Justin Royal. Also, check out my clothing website, theheaterzone.com. I have a restock coming of all of the t-shirts and hoodies tomorrow, as a matter of fact. So they're gonna be hitting the website really soon. I should have them up same day, just in time for Christmas. And if you place an order, I will ship it out immediately so that you can have your t-shirts or your hoodies or your sticker pack or whatever you choose to buy in time for the holidays. Go ahead and score yourself a piece of merchandise. Like I said, hoodies are coming back. If you see a shirt that you want and the size is sold out, it's coming back. Just stay ready so you don't gotta get ready. I'll let you guys know with an announcement on all my social media platforms. Speaking of social media, I'm trying to grow my Facebook page. We're coming up on a thousand likes on the Facebook page. Do me a favor, like the Facebook page. I'll leave a link for the page down below in the video description make it really easy for you guys. I know a lot of you guys over here on YouTube don't use the other platforms and that's cool if you don't, but if you happen to be on Facebook and would like to help me grow the page, go hit that like button, help us hit a thousand. The ultimate goal over there on Facebook is 10,000 likes, but we're a long way off. Need your guys' help. As always, follow me on Instagram for all the behind the scenes goodness, Instagram lives, the reels, the posts, the story. You guys get to see a little bit more of the day-to-day -day action around here, the behind the scenes stuff. You get to even watch me cook some food in the kitchen. Once again, thank you guys for all of your support. I do appreciate you for taking the time to hang out with me today for this unboxing video, but that's about all I got for you today. That about does it. That about wraps her on up. So I'm going to say goodbye for now, and I'll see you on the next one.